اوكي كده عليك اوكي انا لسه ما وصلت Now coming to on the topic, this is uh, flower. Okay. So you know, presence of flowers is the characteristic feature of flower. all flowering plants. Okay, flowering plants. Okay, particularly angel stems. Angel stems, uh, they are a type of flowering plants. Advanced flowering plants, you know, advanced flowering plants. So flowers are modified stem. This is a modified stem that maintain sexual reproduction. So this is a unit of sexual reproduction. This is the unit of sexual reproduction. To maintain sexual reproduction in flowering plants, stem is modified into a flower and flower is a modified stem and the sexual unit and is responsible for sexual reproduction of all angel spermic plants is the sexual unit and modified stem similarly you know stem is also represented by number of nodes and internodes so flower is also the modified stem so that is also represented by some nodes and internodes because it is also the modified stem and every node is also consists of some amount of leaves the leaves present in the nodes of the flower flower is also represented by total 4 nodes and 3 internodes leaves present at 4 nodes of the flower they are modified into floral leaves leaves found modified stem is flower Modified leaves in a flower, they are considered as floral leaves. They are called floral leaves. In this way, stem is modified into a flower. Leaves present at four nodes of flower. This flower are modified into floral leaves. At the same time, every flower it is also represented by a small stalk-like structure by which the flower is connected to the pedicle. Already know, pedant means modified stem that bears a group of flowers. Flower is attached only to pedant by a small stalk like structure. Sometimes flowers may be directly attached to pedant without uh, these stalks. Majority of the members they contain stalks, and uh, this stalk of uh, flower, stalk of flower, this is considered as pedicel. This is called Pedicel. Flower with the pedicel, this is called pedicellate flower. Okay, pedicellate flower. Majority of the flowers they are connected with pedicel by a small stalk pedicel. Flower with the pedicel is called pedicellate. But sometimes flowers are directly attached with the pedicel without any stalks. That is called a flower without pedicel. This is considered as a sessile flower. Okay? Sessile flower without stalk or pedicel. Pedicel late flower with the stalk or pedicel. Similarly, some flowers they also contain very small, very small hair like structure at the base of a pedicel. This is the pedicel and this is the base of pedicel. Very small cave like structure may be present at the base of pedicel. Such structure, this is called bracts. This is a bract. Okay? Nothing but very small cave like structure present at the base of pedicel. Now, some flowers may contain bracts and uh, it may be offset in uh, some flowers. Flower with bracts is called bracteate flower. This is called bracteate flower. But bracts are absent in some flowers. Flower without bract is called e bracteate flower. This is a e bracteate flower. Okay? Definition is very very important. 
So, start of the flower is pencil. With the pencil is pencil lead. Without pencil is a side. Small cane-like structure present at the base of pencil in some flowers is called bracts. With bract is bracteate. Without the bract is called e bracteo, e bracteate. Similarly, in some flowers, heart and all flowers, in some flowers, the same bract-like structure present on the pencil. Same bract, same bract-like structure may be present on the surface of pencil. That is called bracteole. This is a bracteole, very very important. Bracteole. This is called bracteole. Pretty happy. What is the difference between bract and bracteate? Bracteole, bracteole. Only one difference. Structurally, both are similar. Positionally, they are different. Only they are differs one to each other in their position. If it is present at the base of a pencil, now this is called bract. When it is present in a on the surface of a pencil, on the surface, that is considered as bracteole. Flower with bracteole is called bracteolate. Bracteolate flower. Okay? And flower without bracteole is called e bracteolate. Okay? This is a bracteole. Okay? Kavati. Base low unte bracteo. Pedicil pina yakrena unte adi bracteo. With bracteo is called bracteo late. Without bracteo is called e bracteo late. Similarly, this is current, uh, this is pedicil, okay? This is top of the flower, pedicil. This top of the flower, it is condensed at its uh, apex to form a disc like structure. This is a uh, disc like structure. Entire this one is pedicil. Upper part of the pedicil is condensed into a small disc like structure. Now, this disc like structure is called thalamus. This is called a thalamus. Okay. Condensed epical part of the pedicil. Condensed disc shaped epical part of the pedicil. This is called thalamus. This is also called a receptacle. This is also called receptacle. And uh, this is uh, also called thorus in the bed room. Thalamus is also called receptacle and also called thorus. The condensed epical part of the pedicel that is called thalamus, also called receptacle and thorus. This torus, it is represented by total four nodes and three intervals. Four nodes and uh, three intervals. And uh, three inter nodes. There are total four nodes and three inter nodes in the cycle. In the context, the most flower modified stem may be the stem may not have the same number of nodes or inter nodes. For example, इला यहाँ पे कुछ टाइम होगा। One node, second node, third, fourth node। There are total four nodes. How many inter nodes are there? One, two, three. In this case, is condensed pedicel. Condensed pedicel is thalamus is represented by total four nodes and three inter nodes. And if you note, this also consists of some amount of leaves and stem or branch. Here, this node, these nodes. They are also present in the stem because these nodes, the presence of nodes is the characteristic feature of stem. Every node in flower is also represented by some amount of modified leaves. Such modified leaves are called floral leaves. Okay? The floral, the first and the outermost horn, it can allow my baby, Mokta Mitla Kandans Chebani Lavati. And all these modified leaves, they are present in concentric circuits. Okay? Ila elongate on day, it will group leaves on day, it will group on day, it will group on day. Even the motto condensed shape, okay? They can put it in a node level. And all the nodes, these four nodes are thalamus. 
and modified is present in four circles of columns. They are present in four different circles. Outermost and the first circle. Outermost and the first circle of columns. Outermost and the first circle of modified leaves are columns. This is called calyx. This is a calyx. Okay. Mod total circle is called calyx. Modified individual leaves present in this uh, circle. They are called sepals. Okay. They are called sepals. So, outermost and first coral of thalamus is called calyx. And the individuals of this calyx are called sepals. Always the sepals are green in color. Mainly the sepals they play a very significant role in protection of the flower while it is present in bird condition. What is the importance of sepals in a flower? They are a protection in function. They enclose the portal flower while it is present in bird condition. It is protection in function. This is uh, the first circle. Similarly, the second circle of thalamus, this second circle, this is considered as corolla. This is called corolla. And modified leaves present in this corolla, they are considered as petals. They are called petals. Petals different in different species, petals they are in different colors. And these petals they play a very significant role in attraction of insects for cross-pollination purpose. Okay? Attraction for insects. At the same time, the third circle, this is uh, andrisium. Third circle of thalamus is called andrisium. Modified leaves present in this circle. They are called uh, stamens. Okay? These stamens uh, are also called uh, microsporophylls. Microsporophylls. Fills means leaves. Okay? Microsporophylls are stamens. Okay? At the same time, this andesium, this is considered as the male sexual organ of a flower. This is the male sexual organ of a flower. Similarly, the innermost and the fourth circle present on thalamus, this is considered as a gynecium. This is a gynecium. The individuals of this gynecium are modified is present in the fourth circle of thalamus. They are considered as a carpels. And already know, Carpels and what is the other name for this carpels already known in previous class in Sayatiyam? Carpels are also called megasporophils and stamens are called microsporophils. Megasporophils. Okay? Carpels are also called megasporophils. In this way, this thalamus is represented by total four circles of modified leaves. First circle is carries and is represented by sepals. Second coral is uh, corolla represented by petals. Third coral is uh, male sexual organ andesium and individuals of andesium are called stamens or microsporophils. And innermost and fourth circle of thalamus that is considered as gynesium and individuals of this gynesium called carpels are megasporophils and this gynesium this is female sexual organ. Female sexual organs. Okay? Now coming to very very important here the total four circles of the thalamus they are divided into two categories one is uh, non essential organs non essential organs of flower first two circles that is calyx and corolla they are considered as calyx and corolla both constitute the they constitute non-essential organs of a flower. Why? Why it is called non-essential organs of a flower? One is participated in protection, that is calyx. Second one is uh, responsible for attraction of insects for cross-pollination. Means both calyx and corolla, they are indirectly participated in sexual reproduction. Indirectly, so that they are called non-essential organs and also considered as accessory organs. 
they are also called accessory organs of a flower that is takes under corolla very very important okay similarly remaining two that is andrisium and dionysium they are considered as uh, essential essential organs of uh, a flower that is one is uh, andrisium and other one is uh, dionysium they are considered as uh, essential organs of a flower at the same time these two organs they are sexual organs one is male sexual organ andrisium other one is female sexual organ dionysium so that these essential organs are also considered as uh, reproductive organs reproductive organs they help in reproduction sexual reproduction directly so that they are called reproductive organs and essential organs very very important kabatti ikkada mottam enni sarthu ostunnai naalu ee naalu ni manam rendu group ga divide chestam one is non essential accessory okay helix corolla at the same time essential organs andrisium dionysium they are considered as uh, reproductive organs at the same time these type of calyx and corolla which are considered as non essential organs and accessory organs that is also considered as uh, perianth even after that name perianth clamidius then i just said flowers of cyathium they are a clamidius so a clamidius means clamidius is absent what is clamidius sir that is uh, both calyx and corolla and the invocation would be called very very important in case of dicotyledonous plants okay in dicots calyx sir it is present in outermost layer and uh, means yes and non essential organs they are differentiated into outer calyx in a corolla that is in case of dicotyledonous plants we can separate these two non essential organs as calyx and corolla there is a clear cut variation between calyx and corolla in case of dicotyledonous plants but in monocots these cannot be separated into calyx and corolla because these non essential organs present in two circles exactly similar there is no variation there is no the differentiation into outer calyx and inner corolla two corals of non essential organs are exactly similar id calyx id corolla nu divide cheyadu endukante rendu oka lagane ye undu such type of non essential organs present in monocotyledonous plants okay present in monocots that is considered as perianth this is called perianth such perianth is also called uh, clamidius this is also called clamidius with perianth clamidius without perianth a clamidius a clamidius type of flowers are present in side and process of the copies so for you everybody what is the difference between non essential organs of dicots and monocots non essential organs present in dicots and also monocots both in both they are present but they show variation what is the difference between non essential organs of dicots and monocots in dicots non essential organs are differentiated into outer calyx green colored and inner corolla with different colors perianthes in two corals means non essential organs are present in two circles outer circle is differentiated into calyx inner circle is differentiated into corolla there is a variation into calyx and corolla but in monocots there is no variation of perianth variation of non essential organs into calyx and corolla here also it is present in two circles but two circles of perianth or two circles of non essential organs exactly similar such type of non essential organs are considered as perianth clamidis with perianth is clamidis with perianth or clamidis is for clamidis flower without perianth or clamidis is for a clamidis flowers one of the best example for this perianth in monocots that is a lily this is lily lily lo man gamaniste ivi lopala calyx baita lopala corolla baita calyx and variation 
రెండు ఒకలాగానే ఉంటాయి అందుకే దీన్ని మనం ఏమంటాం అంటే రెండు వేర్వేరు డైకాట్స్లో లాగా రెండు వేర్వేరుగా ఉంటే డిఫరెంట్గా ఉంటే హెటిరో క్లామిడియస్ అని అంటాం హెటిరో మీన్స్ డిఫరెంట్ ఈస్ డిఫరెంట్ షేట్ ఎంత ఆఫ్ టేస్ అండ్ డిన్నర్ కూరల్ బట్ ఇన్ మోనో పార్ట్స్ నో వేరియేషన్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ద టూ సర్కిల్స్ ఆఫ్ నాన్ ఎసెన్షియల్ ఆర్గన్స్ ఆర్ సిమిలర్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫార్ హోమో క్లామిడియస్ హోమో మీన్స్ సిమిలర్ హెటిరో మీన్స్ డిఫరెంట్ అది ఇలా రెండు వేరియేషన్ ఇంకొక విషయం మనం గుర్తుపెట్టుకో ఏంటి విషయం అంటే వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ద ఫ్లవర్ విత్ టోటల్ ఫోర్ సర్కిల్స్ ఆఫ్ మాడిఫైడ్ లీవ్స్ కేలిక్స్ కొరలా యాండిషియం డైనిషియం ఎక్సెట్రా ఫ్లవర్ విత్ టోటల్ ఫోర్ సర్కిల్స్ ఆఫ్ మాడిఫైడ్ లీవ్స్ ఫ్లవర్ విత్ ఫోర్ సర్కిల్స్ ఆఫ్ మాడిఫైడ్ లీవ్స్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్ ఏమనొచ్చు దీన్ని కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్ అన్ని ఉంటే ఆ ఫ్లవర్ని మనం ఏమంటాం కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్ అని అంటాం ఓకే బట్ ఇన్ సమ్ ఫ్లవర్స్ ఎనీ వన్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ ఫ్లోరల్ లీవ్స్ మీన్స్ సమ్ ఫ్లోరల్ లీవ్స్ ఆర్ ప్రజెంట్ అండ్ సమ్ ఫ్లోరల్ లీవ్స్ ఆర్ ఆబ్సెంట్ ఇన్ సమ్ ఫ్లవర్స్ ఆబ్సెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎనీ వన్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ ఫ్లోరల్ లీవ్స్ ఇన్ ఏ ఫ్లవర్ దట్ ఈస్ కన్సిడర్స్ ఆబ్సెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎనీ వన్ వన్ టూ ఆర్ త్రీ నాలుగు లేకుండా ఏ ఫ్లవర్ ఉండదు అర్థం అవుతుంది పాయింట్ నాలుగు లేకుండా ఏ ఫ్లవర్ ఉండదు ఒకటి లేకుండా అయినా ఒకటి ఉండొచ్చు రెండు లేకుండా ఉండొచ్చు మూడు లేకుండా ఉండొచ్చు అలా ఆబ్సెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎనీ వన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఫ్లోరల్ సర్కిల్స్ ఇన్ తలాబస్ ఇన్ ఏ ఫ్లవర్ దట్ ఈస్ కన్సిడర్స్ ఇన్కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఫార్ ఇన్కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఇప్పుడు చెప్పండి వాట్ ఈస్ ద టోటల్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ సర్కిల్స్ ఆఫ్ మాడిఫైడ్ లీవ్స్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్ ఫర్ ఎనీ ఫర్ అన్ని ఉండాలి బట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద మినిమం నంబర్ ఆఫ్ సర్కిల్స్ అండ్ మ్యాక్సిమం నంబర్ ఆఫ్ సర్కిల్స్ మే ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ సర్కిల్స్ ఇన్ కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్ మినిమం అండ్ మ్యాక్సిమం మినిమం మినిమం వన్ ఇన్ కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్లో ఏ ఒక్కటి ఉన్నది ఇన్ కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్ మినిమం వన్ మ్యాక్సిమం త్రీ మ్యాక్సిమం అన్ని త్రీ మినిమం వన్ అండ్ మ్యాక్సిమం త్రీ ఫ్లోరల్ సర్కిల్స్ మే బీ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ ఇన్కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్ నాలుగు ఉంటుంది ఇన్కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్ కంప్లీట్ దాని కోసం సో ఫ్లవర్ విత్ టోటల్ ఫోర్ సర్కిల్స్ ఆఫ్ మాడిఫైడ్ లీవ్స్ ఇస్ కన్సిడర్ ఎస్ కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్ అండ్ ఆబ్సెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎనీ వన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఫ్లోరల్ సర్కిల్స్ దట్ ఈస్ కన్సిడర్ ఎస్ ఇన్కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్ ఇన్కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్ ఇస్ రిప్రజెంటెడ్ బై మినిమం వన్ సర్కిల్ అండ్ మ్యాక్సిమం త్రీ సర్కిల్స్ ఎట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ ఫ్లవర్ విత్ బోత్ ఎసెన్షియల్ ఆర్గన్స్ ఫ్లవర్ విత్ బోత్ ఎసెన్షియల్ ఆర్గన్స్ వాట్ ఆర్ ఎసెన్షియల్ ఆర్గన్స్ యాండ్రిషియం అండ్ డైనిషియం యాండ్రిషియం అండ్ డైనిషియం ఫ్లవర్ విత్ బోత్ ఎసెన్షియల్ ఆర్గన్స్ దట్ ఈస్ కన్సిడర్ ఎస్ బై సెక్షువల్ ఫ్లవర్ దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ బై సెక్షువల్ ఫ్లవర్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఇండికేటెడ్ బై దిస్ సింబల్ దిస్ ఈస్ బై సెక్షువల్ ఫ్లవర్ ఇప్పుడు చెప్పండి బైసెక్షువల్ ఫ్లవర్స్ ఆల్ బైసెక్షువల్ ఫ్లవర్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్స్ ఇస్ రైట్ అబాన్ ది స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇస్ రైట్ అబాన్ ఆల్ బైసెక్షువల్ ఫ్లవర్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్స్ ఫస్ట్ బైసెక్షువల్ అంటే ఏంటో చూడండి ఫ్లవర్ విత్ ఎసెన్షియల్ ఆర్గాన్స్ బోత్ ఎసెన్షియల్ ఆర్గాన్స్ అండ్ రిషియల్ అండ్ బైరిషియల్ మిగిలిన వాటి కథ వదిలేసే అవి ఉండొచ్చు ఉండకపోవచ్చు కంపల్సరీగా ఈ రెండు కనుక ఉంటే ఈ రెండు ఉంటే దాన్ని ఏమంటాం ఆ ఫ్లవర్ని మిగిలిన ఉండొచ్చు ఉండకపోవచ్చు అది వేరే విషయం ఫ్లవర్ విత్ ఎసెన్షియల్ ఆర్గాన్స్ అండ్ రిషియల్ అండ్ డైనిషియల్ దిస్ ఈస్ కన్సిడర్ ఎస్ బైసెక్షువల్ ఫ్లవర్ సో ఆల్ బైసెక్షువల్ ఫ్లవర్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్కంప్లీట్ ది స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇస్ రాంగ్ అర్ రైట్ ఇస్ రాంగ్ సమ్ బైసెక్షువల్ ఫ్లవర్స్ మే కంటైన్ కేలిక్స్ అండ్ కొడోల్ ఇది రెండు ఉండొచ్చు ఈ ఎసెన్షియల్ ఆర్గాన్స్ రెండు ఉంటాయి బైసెక్షువల్ అంటే అవి కంపల్సరీగా ఉంటాయి ఈ రెండింట్లో ఒకటి ఉండొచ్చు ఒకటి ఉండకపోవచ్చు లేదా రెండు ఉండకపోవచ్చు లేదా రెండు ఉండొచ్చు మేబీ ఇన్కంప్లీట్ ఆర్ కంప్లీట్ అర్థం పాయింట్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఆల్ బైసె బైసెక్షువల్ ఫ్లవర్స్ మేబీ కంప్లీట్ మేబీ ఇన్కంప్లీట్ ఓకే ఇప్పుడు చెప్పండి ఇంకొక స్టేట్మెంట్ ఆల్ కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్స్ ఆర్ బైసెక్షువల్ దిస్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇస్ రాంగ్ ఆర్ రైట్ ఆల్ కంప్లీట్ ఫ్లవర్స్ ఆర్
Absence of any one of circles called incomplete. Flower with the both essential organs and its own dimension. This is called bisexual. But flower with the only one essential organ. Either androsium or gynosium. E remit law. Yedaina wakate unanpati. Flower with the only one essential organ. Only one essential organ. This is considered as unisexual flower. This is called unisexual flower. Yedaina wakate unanpati. And you sing that unanpati. Guy you sing that unanpati. Migili unanpati 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 unanpati. Flower with only one essential organ, this is considered as unisexual flower. Okay? Unisexual flower with uh, only androsium. Okay, now, Calyx coral or cathodal acid, one that's one of what's what cathodal acid. Unisexual flower with only androsium, this is called male flower. Okay? This is male flower, also called uh, staminate flower. Staminate flower. That is the point too, very very important. Here is one of the essential organ. That is unisexual organ. That is one of the essential organ. Andrishim is one of the unisexual flower. Andrishim is called male flower or staminate. At the same time, unisexual flower with gynesium only. Without andrishim. With gynesium. That is called female flower. This is also called the pistil. Or pistil lake flower. Allah man this. Definition is very very important. Pistil or pistil lake flower. Okay? Very very important. Now coming to another point. Very very important. At the end, I need to pause. One, symmetry of flowers. Okay? Symmetry. Symmetry of flowers. So based on the symmetry, flowers are divided into three types. Okay, one is called actinomorphic flower. Actinomorphic flower. One actinomorphic flower. Some of the best example for this actinomorphic flowers. One is a uh, one is uh, chili and uh, mustard. Okay, and uh, chili, mustard, and tatura. They are the best examples for this actinomorphic. Manna jepe manna definition jepe manna. Actinum market clause, Zygo market clause, and jepe manna. Here is the question jepe manna words. Edit clauses. Ray florets, this florets. After what are our words? In case lo, e actinum market clause. For example, this is a flower. The flower which can be divided into two exact equal halves. In any direction passing through the thalamus. Hal e evidently man touches from the house. The thalamus is touched by the direction of the thalamus. Through the thalamus. The flower which can be divided into two exact equal halves. In any direction passing through the thalamus. That is considered as actinomorphic flowers. A direction of the thalamus. Thalamus ni touches to. A direction of the thalamus. All the floral leaves present in flower, they are exactly divided into two equal halves. In this statement, we have to say that 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 all floral leaves, they are exactly divided into two equal halves. That is considered as actinomorphic flower. Example, chili, mustard, and dhatu. Very, very important definition. So, what is actinomorphic flower? What is actinomorphic flower? The flower which is divided, which can be divided into two equal halves in any direction passing through thalamus. This is considered as uh, actinomorphic flower. Now coming to the second one. This is uh, zygomorphic flower. Zygomorphic flower. Very, very important. I told you, the actinomorphic flower is a symbol of the This symbol of the Let's take the round up chase on the flower is actinomorphic. Another. Okay? That is zygomorphic flower, symbol of percentage mark. Percentage mark will turn to the number of the flower is zygomorphic. You put it up at the end? Definition in the end? The flower which can be divided into two equal halves in only one direction. 
passing through the lungs in only one direction. Other than this direction, it cannot be separated into two equal halves in other direction. Can be divided into only in one direction. If, for example, some of the examples, one is uh, pea plant and other one bean plant and uh, other one cassia and uh, other one gul mohar, all of them their examples. Gul mohar, cassia, pea and bean, their examples for zygomatic plugs. Okay? Similarly, this actinomorphic flower is also called here radial symmetry is there. In actinomorphic flowers, symmetry is radial symmetry. But in zygomorphic flowers, symmetry is bilateral symmetry. Okay? Bilateral symmetry. It is one good bit for One actinomorphic radial symmetry indicated by this symbol plus in a circle and uh, can be divided into two equal halves in any direction. But zygomorphic flower gives two equal halves in only one direction and is indicated by percentage mark and uh, symmetry of this flower is bilateral symmetry. Example B, bean, cassia, and gul mohar. Now coming to the third one, this is uh, asymmetric, very very important. Okay, asymmetric. Asymmetric, uh, asymmetric flower. This is also called irregular flower. This is a irregular flower. It is in percentage. One of the example for this irregular flower. This is a Kenna indica. This is a Kenna indica. This is one of the best examples. This flower cannot be separated into two equal halves in any direction passing through thalamus. Manam ee flower ni ye direction lo karchayalan manam prayit nichana. It is not divided into two equal halves. Vaka vayipu ke petal se kuva ucho, vaka vayipu ke vaka direction lo karchayasta, vaka vayipu ke stamen se kuva tai. Vaka vayipu ke petal se kuva tai. Leh dhanga vaka direction lo karchayasta, vaka vayipu ke petal se kuva tai. Leh da carpel se kuva tai. Leh da rakaraka ala gengya sai. This flower cannot be separated into two equal halves in any direction passing through thalamus. This is considered as asymmetric or also called irregular flower. But it's uh, one of the example, Kenna indica. Okay? This is symmetry. Based on the symmetric flowers are divided into three types: actinomorphic, zygomorphic, asymmetric. Alage, question on the Based on mirosity. Okay, based on mirosity, flowers also divided into three types. Mirosity and Arthamandian type. In other words, the definition is very important. The book will be definition in a chart of content. If I turn in, first term, circle calyx. Three level nine, sepal summit. Okay, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Second one, corollas, contain petals. And the ambition contains some amount of stamens. Dionysian contains some amount of particles. Okay? Mirosity refers to the number of sepals present in coral calyx, number of petals in corolla, number of stamens in andrisium, number of particles. It refers to the number of modified leaves present in each and every circle of the thalamus. Calyx lo sepals in unai, kai unai. Petals lo corolla lo petals in unai, kai unai. Ala, what number of intelligence in the Mirosity, it refers to the number of modified leaves present in each and every circle of the thalamus. Mirosity is nothing but the number of modified leaves present in each circle of thalamus. Based on this number, that is based on this mirosity, total flowers are divided into three types. One is called a pentamerous flower. Flower is pentamerous, pentamerous flower. Penta means five. five. Any penta and five. five. The in pentamerous flowers, number of number of modified leaves in each circle, five are multiples of five. That is five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, like that. 
this is a number is 5 or multiples of 5 that is considered as pentaverse flower one of the best example datura datura and uh, hibiscus and uh, datura hibiscus and elant mokkalo mana vidu gamanistam ante ippudu chodandi ippudu oka vela mana ganta datura isthunna sepals five okay em em untayi ante sepals five petals five and uh, stamens five carpels two are you sir five five like two undu rachu anni circles lo neeku five and multiples of five undakarledu majority of the circles they contain five and multiples of five majority of the circles more than one oka daanto ledu majority ela unnai five and multiples of five that is ikkada five unnai 10 10 undachu 15 15 undachu konni tlo adu kada telu kostayi there are also multiples of five that is considered as pentaverse okay very very important when the number of modified leaves in each and every whorl of thalamus is 5 or multiples of 5 that is considered as pentamerous datura hibiscus oka vela manam ganaka hibiscus isukunte 5 sepals 5 petals many stamens 5 carpels stamens many datura mandara chuste untaru anek stamens untai petals sepals 5 petals 5 stamens many carpels 5 majority three circles contain 5 so this is also pentamerous now coming to the second one trimerous flowers okay trimerous flowers 5 a trimerous tri means 3 the number of four leaves in each circle is uh, 3 or multiples of 3. This is called trimerous. Generally, example is uh, Allium sepa. MD Allium sepa. On implant or on the plant. That is on implant. We have 6 uh, tapers. And we have tapers and sepals and petals. We have 3 parts. Any soil and variation led on in the source of the monopod. A lot of Rundu Okalani Utai, Tarao, a lot of the sepals and Urdu, petals and Urdu, tepals and all, tepals, tepals six, stables six, carpels three, pretty up a day three, multiple something. Adopna that is called trimers. Example, Allium sepa. And third one, this is called tetramers. Tetramerous. Tetra means four and uh, multiples of four. One of the best example, mustard. Best example, mustard. What about mustard? Then we have another mustard, brassica, brassica, mustard. And the other one, what else? One of the nine sepals is there. Nine petals are there. Stamens are there. Stamens are there. Carpels are there. Depending upon the number of modified leaves present in each circle of thalamus is considered as a mirosity. Based on this mirosity, total flowers are divided into three types. Pentamerous, five multiples of five. Trimerous, three multiples of three. Tetra, four and multiple software. Okay?